All right, I just finished reading the book Spin by Robert Charles Jordan, and I wanted to give my quick thoughts on on how I feel about it. Now, I can't tell you if if it would be something for you, but this is what it was for me. And in, you know, it, it when you as with art of any form, it can be hard to recommend something to somebody and be uh, kind of accurate on, on if they will be into it. Sometimes uh, reading something will be very much uh, a subject to how you're feeling with other things at the time and da 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 da. But at the moment that I read this, uh, you know, it just was at a great time. At a great time. So, what this is sort of about, it the the premise of this is what if all of a sudden all the stars went out? And not really, but what if all of a sudden you were looking up and you couldn't see the stars anymore? And everything, uh, and they just stopped being out. The sun would still come up even though kind of a, you know, it might not be the natural sun, and people are trying to figure out what is going on. Now, uh, that's kind of at the base of the, you know, it, it's just the, the dilemma that starts it. Now, through this book, you start to figure out what's going on. Is it aliens? Is it some kind of AI? is you have has the earth gone into some other portal or dimension or something like that uh so there's that as a base but what this book is really about at the core is uh, it's about what people would do in response to this it's really about uh you know if it reminds you a little bit about, uh, you know, there's the the very religious people who would think this is the end of the world and they would kind of insert biblical prophecy into that. And, you know, it has some some talk about, you know, like the red heifer and they're trying to get that going. And so it's almost like they're living in... Uh, I mean, there's all these different versions of it, but on the very religious side, it's like people are in the 70s, just sex and drugs and just waiting for the rapture sort of thing. And sometimes as uh, they think it's coming closer and closer to the end, I mean, there's like these suicides and it's, it's awful and depressing. On the other side, there are scientists trying to figure things out and being quite fatalist on on their end so really at the baseline a lot of what's happening is they fig they feel like they don't have much time they don't have much time and so what are we going to do with the time that we have and is it worth you know how would we live our lives if we thought that everything was just going to end in 40, 40 or 50 years or something like that so it's more about that than it is really about the situation. And I understand that a lot of people would find that kind of dull. Uh, and it is a little bit dry. And I have to also preface this recommendation with, the, you know, I, I maybe have a little bit more of a tolerance for uh, stuff that's dull. Uh, it's not a big... You know, it's not a big first contact where a bunch of spaceships are going to show up and we have to fight them off. You know, it's not it's not something like that. Uh, it can be quite heavy. It is examining quite heavy things. For some reason, I always thought of Forrest Gump in some ways, uh, specifically the Jenny character. Uh, at the at the heart of this story is this family. Uh, a very scientific dad who is who's kind of at the at the cutting edge of dealing with some of the you know some of the ideas that we can do to kind of uh, figure out what's going on and move forward and this very intelligent son who is just like his father in some ways but has a, kind of a different ideological 
way of uh, viewing their future. Uh, they have a daughter who is kind of like the Jenny character, but quite quite intelligent. But instead of being on the scientific end, is more on this kind of this hippie trajectory. So I think of Forrest Gump, and then there's this this uh, you know the Forrest Gump character, even though he's not a he's not like Forrest Gump. He he's a friend who's in love with the Jenny character, but her name is Diane in this and becomes a doctor and they really never connected and e even though they both kind of loved each other at different times and it's just very interesting we have this alcoholic mother and we have uh, another mother who's very interesting and really the story is about the people and and their kind of veering trajectories and then in the end, sort of where things will converge. Uh, it can be quite a heavy book. But if you are into maybe examining something like that, examining regret or re examining uh, f fate and examining doing what you can do with the time that's given, uh, it is quite a beautiful book in the end, I find. But... Like a lot of these sci-fi books, a lot of people find that sort of thing a little depressing. So, I know I didn't give it a very good, uh, you know, I found it very, very beautiful. Did I say beautiful? Beautiful. Uh, but I understand that a lot of people would find it dry and perhaps uh, too heavy, heavy-handed uh, from what they are maybe looking for but again i kind of got the vibe a little bit except for the humor you know there's not a lot of humor in it but there's a lot of that vibe of forrest gump and watching these different characters kind of verge in different areas and and you know things never quite work out the way they thought things were going to work out as they are as they are slowly going towards this this ending that they feel like they are getting and we get this very interesting ending there i mean it obviously it's not only about these characters they are the showcase of what gives us some emotional resonance but even the situation is is quite interesting and it has a lot of things that i think you you might find interesting as well so if that seems interesting to you then give it a shot uh, I'm glad I read it. I really did like these characters quite a bit more than I often find in some of the sci-fi novels of of this type, where it's where it's about the situation and really the novel is about how people respond to it. I thought Robert Charles Wilson handled it handled it quite well, and I actually really became quite emotionally invested with these characters. And yeah, I'll just leave that and I'll talk to you on the next one.